<clears throat> What's going on guys? It's your boy Ooch and today is a crazy kind of day. Yes, I am very excited to share with you guys what I've learned today about the future of Dragon Ball Super. But first, I need to tell a little story before I get into the future of this tournament of power. First things first, this all comes from a leak. Now, basically, this bit of news, I will have to say now, all jokes aside, is this is a huge spoiler. Spoiler for not only Dragon Ball Super, but a spoiler for Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters, for those that don't know, is the upcoming fighting game that's coming out for Xbox One and PS4 and Steam. And according to this leak, so here's the huge spoiler alert for the rest of this video going forward, potentially the Switch as well. But this is gonna be a mixture between back and forth, but in order to give more emphasis on how this has crucial, crucial benefactors in Dragon Ball Super, we have to go through the leak with Dragon Ball Fighters first because they're the ones that pretty much spill the beans on what we now can expect to happen in this tournament of power. And I will explain why in further detail as this video goes on. So let's get right into it. So first things first, let's go over the initial leak that got released over at Shoryuken.com. You can actually read it for yourselves and see all the leaks that it wasn't just Dragon Ball Fighters that got spilled, but it was Street Fighter, Marvel, and even Soul Calibur 6. This leak literally goes in and talks about the upcoming characters that will be featured in the game as DLC and also as fighters that are just going to be included, presumably at launch on disc. Here is what this leaker, the first leaker says, and I quote, three of the DLC characters are supposedly Broly, base form Goku, and base form Vegeta. Now, I want you guys to just keep that in mind. Broly, base form Goku, base form Vegeta. We continue. Bardock, Raditz, Goku Black are also supposedly development and even nearly complete. However, it's unknown if they're part of the launch roster or being held back as DLC. In addition to this, the leak talks about versions of Dragon Ball Z fighters coming to Nintendo Switch sometime later in 2018. So for those like me who are who've been asking for this Switch port to come out, well guess what? It's actually gonna happen, but it won't be at launch. So I will definitely be getting it on PS4 still. And I'll most likely look into possibly getting a second copy for the Switch so that I have it on the Switch as well later on when that comes out. But that's completely beside the point. Because now, from what I just told you guys, I want you to take that and keep that thought in your mind fresh. Fresh. Let's go and read up on the next leak that came out. Actually, I believe it was today. So the new leaker basically I'm not gonna reveal any names But I will say that this leaker actually kind of pooped on the old leaker and I will read to you guys What exactly this guy had to say and I quote his Dragon Ball fighter sources are either trolling him or just have no idea What they're talking about and we're gonna see exactly why I've seen so much disinformation about the roster of this game that it's not even funny The rest of the default roster is go tanks Roshi mystic go Gohan, Kid Buu, Raditz, and Android 21. With that being said, that's actually really hype. Roshi's in, Ultimate Gohan's in, Kid Buu is in, Raditz is gonna have his companion Nappa, and Android 21 is gonna be playable, and Go Tanks, like I wanted, is going to be in this game. But let's continue with what we really want to talk about. So, again, if you haven't heard the warning again, I'm warning you again. Spoiler alert this one is gonna come in hard. The eight DLC characters will be released over 16 months, two months in between each character, the first being available at launch. Also, we have to point out that they don't know the order in which they will be announced, but I have a really good feeling that I know who's gonna be the first two. Let's go back to the old leaker. They said Broly, regular Goku, regular Vegeta. So we're thinking base form. Why on earth would they wanna put base form when they already got Super Saiyan versions and then they've already confirmed and showed off trailers that they're gonna have Super Saiyan blue forms of Vegeta and Goku. 
So why even have them in base form? Because this guy had no idea what he was looking at. Because as a matter of fact, and let's go right into the quote, regular Goku and regular Vegeta are not true. It's more like the source had no idea what they were looking at. In reality, there is another Goku and another Vegeta. But they are in fact the ultra instinct versions of the characters. Are you kidding me? Did did he 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 said that right? I I know I know Goku he just but But Vegeta? Yes. It's out there. Vegeta confirmed Ultra Instinct. <laughs> Now let, let's just let that sink in like I'm not even gonna go over the rest of this leak real quick because That is a huge Huge spoiler at the future of this tournament and I know it's gonna happen in the tournament But I want to just get this leak over real quick so that way we can talk about how this freaking correlates with Dragon Ball Super Bardock isn't true his source is full of <laughs> Goku Black is only half true. It's actually Zamasu and Goku Black is the assist character. So it looks like the androids are not the only ones and Ginyu is not the only one that has assist-like moveset in his kit. We're actually gonna get that with Zamasu and Black Goku. So that is actually kind of dope. I'm completely okay with this. To wrap this all up, the eight DLC characters actually are Ultra Instinct Goku, Ultra Instinct Vegeta, Broly, Zamasu with Goku Black, Beerus, Hit, Kefla, and my man Jiren with the pride troopers so this is going to be an exhilarating game when it comes out obviously the characters are going to be spread out over the, the next 16 months after that the the initial game comes out so we're basically looking at the next year and a half's worth of content for dragon ball fighters so this game is going to be around for a good amount of time before they even think about doing any kind of sequels or anything like that. Now that the cat is out of the bag, let's go into how this is such a big freaking deal for the Tournament of Power. Dragon Ball Super, as we know it, is solely looking at Goku. They are giving Goku all the attention. Why? Because this man unlocked a new form again and is now a step, probably a bunch of steps, ahead of the cheetah, being that he is now leaving his companion in the Super Saiyan God key range. So that means they got, he's leaving them in the dust with Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue. While Goku is up on a new pedestal that he had created for himself where it is in Ultra Instinct. And because of this, they're, everyone's looking at Ultra Instinct as being the key to this fight and the key to victory and survival because Jiren is that godlike that Ultra Instinct is like the only way that they have any kind of shot at defeating Jiren and securing their survival in this tournament of power. So the fact that the cheetah being confirmed through a leak for a video game, it makes perfect sense and the fact that it has also been confirmed that this tournament is going to last all the way into March it's like the cheetah is going to go ultra instinct like can you can you just can you just sit there and just think about that like this opens up so many more opportunities because I was original I was already saying that in order for Goku to stall and for him to even, you know, possibly get any kind of energy back because he's already Ultra Instinct right now. And you know that's not gonna last for very long. I think the only way for him to get back to Ultra Instinct a third time, or to even recuperate for that matter, is if they fuse. So if they fuse, and then once they defuse, then they have a shot at Goku being, but it's not even about Goku no more. Because now we have two Ultra Instincts. So, if Vegeta can now go Ultra Instinct, then that just means there's a really good chance that we might get Ultra Instinct Vegeta. Nigga! And I have to give a complete and utter shout out to my boy Kai because he's the one that even put the Vegeta, I, the Vegito idea in my head because I had to vent this out to somebody today because I was going to go crazy if I did not talk to anybody about this. That is basically all it. Vegeta is going to be going Ultra Instinct. We don't know how, we don't know why, and if you really think about it though, it kind of almost makes sense for a character like Vegeta to go Ultra Instinct because it was said when he went Super Saiyan Blue, he did it on his own. There was no spiritual holding hands kumbaya that Goku got. Vegeta 
this makes sense for him to do it in his own way like this. So I'm actually looking very forward to this. And you guys know that I hate spoilers and I hate, I, I just hate finding out things that are not supposed to be known. But the fact that this was a leak that had to do with a video game, I thought it was completely safe. I was like, oh man, they're not gonna include characters that haven't even happened yet. I was just expecting to see people like, oh, Kefla, Jiren, freaking Gotenks. Like I wanted characters that I already knew that could have really good potential being in this game to be in the game and look at what they freaking spilled like it just makes so much sense like it was all planned out it was like the stars aligned it was like all right bet we're gonna have this tournament of powers gonna last until march fighters is gonna come out before the end of the tournament and they're going to freaking give us ultra instinct the prince of all sands has just become the king i'm ready are you let me know what you guys thought about all this in the comments below if i missed anything please feel free to talk about this with me in my discord especially on the discord make sure to follow me on twitter too let me know what you guys thought about everything follow me on twitch so you can talk about this while i play some games and if you haven't already please subscribe to me on riff so we can watch some dragon ball super or any other animes legally live together and if you support the boy and support the boy on the Patreon page. And if you haven't checked out my sponsor, Sugoi Shirts, get yourself 10% off a shirt like this or plenty of their cool collection, anime inspired, Japanese inspired t shirts, hoodies for 10% off Uchi using the code Uchi10. And guys, <laughs> I'll see y'all next time.